Rory Noonan they have only played three championship games so far, but already the Rebels have been involved in two that will be remembered long after the Liam McCarthy Cup is presented to the eventual winners later in the year. Yesterday week they were involved in a superb game against Tipperary and not many thought that it would be topped in the Munster Championship this year, but it was on Saturday night. A superb game that both sides can only be congratulated for and for the 35,000 or so that turned up you can bet they are still talking about it. It was nail-biting stuff and in the end, just like the tip game, a draw was probably a fair result. While many would say that Limerick would be far more happy with the point, seeing as they were down to 14 halfway through the first half, it was not the thoughts of core keeper Anthony Nash afterwards. He was quick to praise for the part they both played in a thrilling game to watch and also indicated he would be very much in favor of Saturday night games, rather than the traditional Sunday afternoon ones. This thought was based on the huge crowd that turned up, which surpassed the attendance in Thurles the previous Sunday by in the region of 10,000. He also touched on the weather, with the sun shining through for the second half, right into the eyes of the Cork defence. I know it wasn't there for the first half, but I don't think it made a massive difference really. It was affecting their forwards as much as our defenders so I don't know was it much really. The fans were also brilliant again tonight, to see a sea of red when you take to the pitch is massive and even when we travel to places like Thurles it's there. To hear the roars like you did towards the end there is definitely uplifting and we appreciate every bit of support we are given and like John, Myler, the Cork manager, said fortunately enough we are giving them something to cheer about at the moment. Delighted with the support and it's very similar to last year with the numbers that are following us. It's incredible to be standing in goal and watching what's going on in front of me. What the lads are doing is amazing and John was asked earlier what would he change? Well for me it would be switching to Saturday night games, that's the only thing I would change. Because we have to wake up on Monday mornings after a Sunday game and go to work. You're talking about recovery, so for me, Saturday night games work. You could look at it that fellas could wake up on Sunday and have a day to themselves, with their families or whatever they want to do. They would have a day off work a chance to relax. You see 35,000 here tonight, I don't think any supporter would be disagreeing with more Saturday night games. I know all of them can't be at every game, but for me, that's the only thing I would tweak, more games on a Saturday night, especially with the way the weather has been, I think it's fantastic. We have a big game now against Waterford in two weeks and we know what we have to do. A win could see us into the Munster final, but a loss could see us out of the championship or maybe finish third. Right now we don't really know the ins and outs of it, we were out three weeks in a row and we couldn't really look at the table. But we are off now next weekend and other teams are going to put points on the board and we won't, so we will have a better idea of where we stand after that. I think what we all really want to do is go and play well against Waterford and hopefully we can get over the line. We always have had great games against Limerick over the last few years, two similar teams, two young fast ones that seem to go at it and of course you don't want to see any fella sent off. I know in fairness to Sean O'Donoghue on our side he is a good young fella and I don't think he would fabricate too much or anything like that. You don't want to see any team go down to 14 men, but I thought it was an unbelievable game of hurling and hopefully, we can carry that form into the Waterford game, concluded Anthony.